Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Cafe Bustelo. We're gonna talk about their Columbia K-Cups. Yes, people, in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box. Then we're gonna crack that bad boy open and take a look at the K-Cups themselves. After that, we're gonna throw those over to the K-Mini and brew up a nice hot cup of coffee. Then we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. After that, we're gonna find out, is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? I think this one's gonna be a good one. I am riding high on the Cafe Bustelo wave and I am super excited. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So you got the genuine K-Cup pod stamp of approval right there. You got some really, really cool artwork. Cafe Bustelo really goes the extra mile when it comes to making their coffee look really, really great. Cafe Bustelo, Colombia. Whatever this says here, Colombian blend. That's what it says. Cafe coffee, 12 pack. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. All right, let's check the size. Okay, these are on the small size. This is 0.31 ounces. So K-Cups range between this 0.3 and 0.48. That's the highest I've ever seen in a genuine K-Cup. So what you're going to get out of this is you're going to get a little bit less caffeine. You're going to get a little bit less um, taste, a little bit less everything because you're getting less coffee per K cup. So if this was a 0.4 something, I would say that you're gonna be getting a really good cup of coffee, but if you only put in eight fluid ounces with this, you should be okay, and you could run two of these at six and get a really rich cup of coffee. But Cafe Bustelo is known for having a punchy, aggressive cup of coffee, so it might not matter if there's less ounces. All right, take a look at the side, a little bit more of the same. Take a look over here, ingredients, coffee. That's all you wanna see. <laughs> all right, take a look at the back. You got a little bit of their story right here. Very cool. All right, so this is how you recycle people. Peel, empty, recycle, repeat. <laughs> Do it. Let's check the fresh by date. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're good to go. All right, let's crack this bad boy open and see if the carpet matches the drapes. Ooh, that ripped. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, exactly. That is very, very cool. It's a little bit different color yellow here versus that. That's a little bit warmer. This is definitely cooler, but you're gonna see that and go, yes, that is a Cafe Bustelo Columbia. I'm going to pick this one and I'm gonna drink it. This also looks very festive and very awesome. And it's something that will definitely stand out when you're looking at other K-Cups in a drawer or in a tree. So this is very, very cool. Good job. Um, it does not have the second filter down here. Um, uh, it, it really doesn't feel that light, even though it is only 0.31 ounces. Um, but coming up, we are going to put this to the test with the K-Mini. All right, let's get this coffee a brewing, people. All right, we're going to be loading this into my K mini. If you've never seen this before, I'm going to link it down below. It's a genuinely decent machine. It has its faults just like everything else. I actually had to get it replaced. This uh, replacement unit is going very strong, actually. It's uh, performing as it should, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. All right, we're going to be doing an eight ounce review. So, with all of my K cups, I do eight fluid ounces. If you think that's wrong, comment down below and tell me that I am wrong <laughs> all right we got our grand canyon mug right here this is the staple for all of my reviews as of late all right here we go all right so what we're looking for is a very rich stream Keurig K-Cups can be a little bit watery, and this one being 0.3 something is uh, questionable. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that is a very rich stream. There is no filter on here. There's no color grading, nothing that is straight from camera and very true to, to, true to the naked eye, I should say. 
Man, that is insanely good. Wow, so that is proof right there that even a small K cup at 0.3 something can produce a rich looking cup of coffee. So if you ever buy a K cup and it comes out watery looking, just send it back people, return it. I do apologize for my dirty K, K mini right there. That is, uh, that, is, that is on me, it's my bad. I needed to wipe it down and I didn't, I apologize. All right, so here we go. You want to drink your coffee between 130 and 145. For me personally, optimal sip test is 132. Try this at home. You're actually going to enjoy your coffee, I would say, 50% more. So drink it about 132, 135. Hey guys, I want to take a quick minute and talk about the sponsor of this video, Smile Brilliant. And in particular, I want to talk about coffee stained teeth. Yes, people, you consume coffee, I consume coffee, and that stuff stains your teeth for sure. So check this out. The number one product recommended by Dennis is the custom fitted tray. However, to make said tray, it requires a dentist to hand craft it by using a model of your teeth. With Smile Brilliance Lab Direct, you could do it all from the comfort of your own home at a fraction of the price. Order the creation kit today at smilebrilliant.com using the coupon code lucas yes people lucas okay so once you get your kit you're gonna make your impression yes people you're just gonna bite right down on it and send it back using the prepaid envelope no time at all the lab will handcraft your trays and send them back in three to five applications you can sip your coffee with confidence knowing those teeth are gonna smile brilliant and the maintenance is as easy as one to two applications every few months Yes, people, this is what you need. All right, let's get into the sip test, people. Woo, super excited about this one. I am definitely a fan of Cafe Bustello. I think that they make really good, inexpensive coffee, and I think this one's gonna be a good one. I've actually never had their K-Cup before, so this is very, very interesting. Wow. <laughs> wow, 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 100% wow, people. That is the most bizarre tasting coffee I've ever had. Wow, it is extremely fruity, like super, super fruity. Um, definitely earthy, uh, smoky, uh, full bodied for sure. This thing is packing a wallop. <laughs> Mm. Wow, that is truly, truly intense. Absolutely amazing. The flavor is just so in your face immediately. You're, like, you know you're drinking a very, very interesting cup of coffee when you take a sip of this. Mm. Yeah, there's a tiny hint of bitterness. Um, Definitely full bodied. It just has that flavor that just keeps going. The aftertaste is is sweet and kind of malty. Um, wow, very very interesting. That is that is why you buy Cafe Bustello because you think you know what you're going to get yourself into, and then you get into the sip test and you're like, what? Wow, that is so bizarre. And the flavor. The fruitiness is very familiar. I don't know where I've tasted it before, but it's very, very familiar and it's very much in your face. Definitely a cup of coffee you can wake up to. Definitely a cup of coffee that you can drink daily. This is very, very enjoyable. Um, I think that you could easily pair this with like a sweet, delicious, flaky pastry or some kind of uh, breakfast dessert. Um, very, very interesting. Um, it doesn't have that like overpowering sweetness to it. It has that perfect amount of like fruity, smoky, earthy to keep you grounded. So you're like, yes, I will enjoy a nice sweet uh, something <laughs> with this. Mm. Wow, definitely. I'm gonna say for the, the, the budget coffees, this is a true five star for budget coffee. I'm going to say for all around, for every coffee in the world, I'm going to say this is four and three quarters. This is a solid, 
solid coffee. This is very, very good. Um, I might even just say it, it, for all coffee, it's five stars, but I, I'm gonna give it four and three quarter. I'm gonna say there's definitely better coffee out there. I'm sure if you broke this thing down and you figured out the, the beans and you know all that stuff, you would say, yeah, it's not a five star bean, it's not a five star coffee, but for me, it is a five star budget coffee and that is what matters to most people. <laughs> mm. Wow, yes amazing 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 that that's what you want you want to buy a cup of coffee you want to brew it up and you want to have a enjoyment that is not something you've had before and that's that's what i'm chasing that's the wave that i want to ride till i do not live on this earth anymore <laughs> oh i hope that didn't sound morbid mm. yeah that is very good definitely a daily driver if you haven't had this before, pick it up. Of course, all the links are down below so you can just click and buy and enjoy without any hassle. Definitely buy it. <laughs> all right, there you go. That's the Cafe Bustello Columbia K-Cups. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. And if you want to join the At Home with Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 1K. Yes, people, on my way to 2K, just like the game, but I need your help. Yes, I need your help. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your pets. This guy's on YouTube. They should subscribe and watch this channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.